Hey guys, we're gonna be playing Majora's Mask. Probably, to me, it's probably the best Zelda game there is. I love it. It is great. Well, if I sound different, it's because it's obviously not the usual guy that plays. He's currently under the weather. Sick. So I'll be playing, but just for this episode. Just because I love the game so much. I want to do the first one. So I won't be doing much today in the game, really. I'll just be gathering some stuff. And we'll be finishing the first cycle. When he finishes this game, I believe he's going to play... Mario RPG... I'd like to say Donkey Kong 64, but I'm not sure. The other games he's gonna try to play at the time are... There was Mario RPG, and... I think Pokemon Randomizer. Yeah. Yeah, I feel pretty confident with that one. You know, I think he's gonna try to record those both at the same time with this. Or I think after it, at least. I'm gonna guess it'll take him about 30 episodes to finish this game. Just because it's an actual longer game. This is a great cutscene. I think it's like one of the only ones in the entire game. Just got my ocarina. What a thief. I'm gonna guess at the first five minutes, I won't even be close to Clock Tower. Oh well, say goodbye to Epona, everybody. Or Epona. Cause you won't see him for a long time. Like a long time. <sighs> He's like halfway through the game. And I don't believe you need to get him. Well, yeah. Yeah, he's required, definitely. Almost into it. Getting excited. Here we go. Getting right into it. I got the fastest movement going. Oh, where am I? Close. I was really close in there. Yeah. yeah, the first the first part here, we don't really do anything. Just some more talking. And Link Falls. To what is assumed like he dies and he goes to purgatory. And this whole game is based on Dabda, I believe. Yeah. Denial, Death. anger, bargaining, then there is, denial, I don't know, I forget, I forget a few of them, but I got the first half, but I'll explain that while I'm playing a bit. Ha <laughs> ha 
Okay, here comes the first part that I don't like. I have to say, this is probably my least favorite part of the game. It's a great part of the game, but it's not too fun. I have to say, this game, is my, it's my favorite game focused around, like, concepts. But, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Basically, the game, whole game is focused on math. 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 Yeah. But you'll see after, like, two episodes or so. So basically in this game, there's only four temples, a bit of a shorter game, but most of the, like, uh, two-thirds of the whole game are side quests. So that's good if you like, if you really enjoy looking about the worlds. I know I did, I really enjoyed it. I really hope they make this game an HD remix for Wii U. Not sure if they will, but I really hope they do. Because I'd definitely buy it. Oh, well, taking a little longer than I assumed it would. I thought it'd be only five minutes. Oof. It's a long, like, prologue. Come on. Okay. This is just like showing you how to use the Deku Shrub. Basically, all you can do is use a shield, get your little Deku Nut, dive, so you can use the flowers, and shoot snot bubbles, I assume? Or little, like, bubbles? But we can't do that yet since we don't have magic. And this, like, dead Deku Shrub over here is, like, believed to represent the butler's... the butler Deku Shrub's son. But you'll probably see that later. I think it's my, one of my favorite parts of Majora's Mask right here. When you walk into, like, the Twisted Corridor. Okay, now we're in Clock Tower. Now I'm gonna try a glitch right up here. So I can skip the... Well, just a cutscene up here. That it's, it's, it's a long cutscene, but... I'll try to skip it. Okay. Here we go. I didn't get it. No. That was too slow. I had to spin. And then pause buffer. But I suck. Because I just learned about that a while ago. I thought I might as well try it. I'm going to be doing... One or two glitches this time. Just to take a peek around. I think I'm going to get a heart piece. Yeah. I'll get at least one or two hard pieces this time. And a lot of the models and like characters from Ocarina are used in this game. Just because it's like based off of Link's memories.
dawn of the first day. The whole game revolves on three days you have to save the world. And if, and if you fail those three days, the moon crashes down. So basically you can't beat the game within three days. You have to... Well... You basically just have to play a song, so... I'll start with my first glitch. Whoops. Okay. So normally you can't leave Claw Town as Deku Shrub because... You're Deku Shrub. It's dangerous to go alone without a weapon. So, we're just gonna leave. Done. So since this is your first time on the first cycle you do it on, nothing spawns in. No enemies, no music, nothing. Like, there is nothing out here. I just thought since it's the first cycle, might as well. It's, like one of my, it's one of my favorite things to do. I'll collect some rubies so I can put those in the bank after. Because with 1,500 rubies in the bank, you get a heart piece. Okay. In a minute here, we're going to be getting a... Well, trying to get a heart piece without using, like, usually you use Link to get it, because it'd be a lot easier. Could you be able to, as actually attack enemies, but since we're a Deku show, we can't do anything. You are absolutely useless. So at the moment, you can only hold 99 rubies. Basically just like every Zelda. And you can upgrade the wallet. Yeah. One second. Okay. So basically, since I have, like, escaped Clock Town on the first cycle, this right here, this would be a cutscene. When... The other guy just comes in whenever he does episode two. This is gonna be a cutscene right here. But since we don't, since we don't have to like do that, since we escaped on the first cycle, we don't do it. We just skip it. But enemies here spawn because it's in the load zone. Okay. I really hope I can get this hard piece. But since there's all those bats, no, no, we can't get the hard piece. Ah, forget it. I was sure we could get it. Uh, I was really sure. Okay, we're just gonna get the rest of the stuff and clock down then. But since now I went into a new load zone, there is music now for Terminal Field. I guess, yeah, you wouldn't know that it is called Terminal Field because it didn't say at the top of the screen in the left hand corner I'd like to say. But yeah, now we just got music here, which is kinda cool. Okay. I'm gonna go see where the fairy spawned. I'd like to say it spawns on the first day in the washing pool. At least I think. Yeah, okay, here we go. Perfect. Okay. Ah, come on. Okay. 
So right now we're gonna go get magic. And I, yeah, you, you do need, you need magic to complete the first cycle. That's that's your only goal throughout this first cycle to get magic, and then just waste days till the third day. Because on the third day, you can actually finish the cycle. Because at 12 o'clock on the third day, the clock tower opens, we can get to the top and see Skull Kid. And since I got the fairy without going here, I can skip a little bit of the talking scene. Okay, good. Good, good. Now we're just gonna go sleep the rest of the days. Or, well, get told stories, basically. I really enjoy that this game looks just like Ocarina Time. Another great thing about it. Okay. We're gonna go deposit our 50 rubies and then go get told stories so the day goes by. West Clock Town. Okay, so here's the bank. Here, here, here's the bank. So every time you donate a certain amount, they give you something. So we have to reach the goal of 200 at the moment. So since we're not gonna reach that, we'll just give 50. Because every time you do a reset, like, every time three days go by, you have to save it and basically quit. Actually, the first day. So then once you do that, you lose all your items. You don't lose them forever, you just you keep that. You have that item, but you lose, like, the number of it you have. So say we had, like, 99 rubies, we'd lose all those rubies. Like the, I'm gonna try something else. We could have just been told stories, but I think we're gonna go dance with the scarecrow, scarecrow till 12. I think that passes the time better. Because dancing with scarecrows passes lots of time. Bomb drops there. Here it is. The trading post. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be repeating this a few times. Now I feel dumb because we could have just been told stories, and that would have passed the day. But whatever, we're here now. We only have to do it one or two, two or three more times. Oh, whoops. Okay, here we go. Oh, I keep missing that. 
not paying attention. Okay, dawn of the third, dawn of the final day. I guess 72 hours isn't horrible in this game. You can slow down time or skip a half a day. It's not bad. There. Now we can sleep till at least 6 at night. We have to wait till 12 though. That way, clock tower opens. Yeah, okay, I might have screwed up here. I might have. Just might have. I'll have to do kind of like a little glitch just so I can actually do this. Because the thing I needed to do, I can't anymore. At least I believe not. I'll check. Now. There's I'll, I'll see if I can. If not, I'll be sitting here. Trying to get this glitch for a minute. Uh, maybe a few. Oh, okay, good. Ah, there we go. Okay, we can still do this little side quest. against the clock because I forgot. That's one. There's two. Alright. Three and four are here. One's right here. Can I get you? Oh, it's taking forever. I'd like to say one's by the washing pool. Because I know where the last one is. There has to be one here. Uh, where is the last? is just over here. Yeah, he's right here. But... I have no clue where he is. Ah. 
There we go. Ah, uh, this is really going to be close on time. Like, really, really close. <sighs> Not very confident on this one. I wasted way too much time. Yeah, but then clock tower opens at 12 o'clock, like I said. Remember numbers. So forty two thirty five one, got it. Yeah, there's a scarecrow here. I should have used him. Moving faster. But can't now. Oh, it is gonna be really close. <sighs> hey, look at the gold kid. Good, good. Watch the moon cry. So I can use that golden flower. Not feeling confident. I love the music though at the end. Sounds great. The background music sounds a lot like the track they use once you beat a temple in Wind Waker HD. That was the first thing I thought of when I beat when I beat the uh, first temple. It sounded a lot like this. <sighs> okay. Learn how to use the damn controller. Okay, good. this game with like a PS2 controller. It's a Logitech. Ooh, wrong way. Yeah, I thought it would have like two or one minute left. Okay, got the land eat. <sighs> this one's gonna be close. Oh. 
there's the moon, it's gonna crash down. Destroy all of Termina. Alright. Get a heart piece and the Ocarina of Time back. Alright. I think we should have enough time, definitely. I really wasn't sure I was going to be able to complete the first cycle. <laughs> I was getting a little worried. I was going to have to reset and do another recording of it, but it's good that I didn't. Got a first try. I mean, I was gonna get with that one. I thought I missed. Oh, they give us back five minutes. I didn't. Re I didn't know that actually. Your shield looks really odd in Majora's Mask. It's very different. The song time, the most important song in the entire game. Well, very close to being the most important. Let's see if we can play it. <laughs> No. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oof. Ho <laughs> ho. Bad. I'm pressing B. That was why. So I'm so unused to this controller. But oh well. Doesn't matter now. Well, the song of time will aid us. Mm. Here we go, she's the Ocarina of Time. Ah, uh, oh, come on. Use the controller right. Okay. I did have a toy, that way it wouldn't screw up. Yeah, so every time you play the song of time, yeah, you're back to the dawn of the first day. Saving all your progress, you're just going back to the first day.
Nothing, okay. Back to the first day. So now we're basically done the first cycle. Well, we're done it, but we just have to finish it off. The moon's way back up in the sky. is weird. I, I love how he just pulls it out of nowhere. The big piano. Okay. <laughs> no? Come on. How slow do I have to go? Say goodbye to the Dooku Shrub. Because now you can be Link again, actually. Yeah, so that's a mask, and basically the whole game is masks, yeah. It's when you wear this mask, you become the Dooku Shrub again. It'll be useful for some parts, but not everything. I guess you wouldn't have known it's called Pandora's Mask at the time, but now you do. I'm basically just gonna play the song a time, that way I'll save, and I'll probably cut it here. Well, I suppose I can just save state, it makes it easier. But, yeah, this is my first, I did the first episode, so I enjoyed it. I hope you did. Hope you all, yeah, hope you all enjoyed it, and be sure to check out my Metroid Fusion, or his Metroid Fusion, if you hadn't already. And follow us, and follow him on Instagram, at runner. And thanks.